Hi, in this tutorial, I'll be talking to you about Regroove, a neural net powered expressive drum sequencer device for Max for Life. We'll be going through some of the features, how to use Regroove, and generate some drum rhythms in the process. First, let's start with some setup. As you can see, I've already dropped Regroove into this Ableton track here on the left. Regroove is strictly a MIDI device, meaning that it outputs MIDI events and not the drum sounds itself. This means that you will need your own drum kit to receive those MIDI events and trigger sounds. For the sake of this tutorial, I've decided to use the selector kit warm. To make sure that the selector kit is receiving events from Regroove, make sure you set Regroove as a MIDI input, then arm the device. To start interacting with Regroove, we will go to the pattern matrix. This 9x16 grid represents the instruments. Each row is an individual instrument. Starting from the bottom, we have kick, snare, closed hi-hat, open hi-hat, low tom, mid tom, high tom, ride, and crash. We have chosen these instruments because they represent the nine pieces of a drum kit. Note that these are not interchangeable, but however, the MIDI uh, notes that you're sending the events for an instrument to are. So for example, we have now chosen these MIDI numbers to correspond to the instruments in the selector kit, i.e. this C1 corresponds to C1, the kick. Secondly, we have the columns. There are 16 steps representing one bar meaning that each step is a 16th note. Let's program a pattern. All right, we'll start with something like that. As you can see, each of the elements in this grid is completely interactive. This means that as Regroove starts changing the pattern or syncopating it, you can always reactivate or deactivate or reactivate this instrument again. Next, we will want to initialize the engine. We basically want to tell the rhythm engine embedded inside Regroove that this is the pattern that it should be basing its variations and syncopations on. We can customize the output by setting a few parameters. We have max density, which represents the upper threshold of the patterns generated by Regroove. In other words, the most dense pattern generated will correspond to this max density. The min density, which is the same except for the least dense pattern. Random is very useful to specify how random you want the variations to be. If you just want minor syncopations or ghost notes, for example, you might want to keep this around 0.3 or 0.2. If you want very crazy variations and completely different patterns, you might want to turn this value up to something like 0.7. We will leave it at 0.3 for now. Lastly, we have sample size, which, can, which determines the size of the sample space generated. This goes all the way up to 1,000, but generally we wouldn't want that many samples to pick from to avoid a paradox of choice. Let's stick to 100 for now. Lastly, to initialize the engine, we just click this big play button and we're good to go. Let's see what the patterns generated look like. To do this, we will want to go to the syncopation pane. Here we have sync mode, which we want to activate, and we can choose snap mode to start with. Snap mode is an easy way to explore the space of patterns in the generated by the rhythm engine. Let's see. As you can see, these patterns are quite basic, and this is because the density dial is turned way down, meaning we are only seeing the least dense patterns possible. Let's turn this up. I think this corresponds quite nicely to the kinds of patterns I want. 
Now let's hear what this sounds like. Now, let's see what we can do with the final syncopation mode, toggle mode. Toggle mode is my favorite. This is because usually a drummer would tend to play a rhythm, which is consistent with the overall groove of the song, and only inject variations and syncopations very sparsely, or very um, selectively, so to speak. Toggle mode allows you to do exactly that. By clicking the button, we syncopate. When we let go, we go right back to the original groove. So let's say I like this one. I'm going to add this open hi-hat back in. And I'm just going to jam and inject fills and syncopations only exactly when I want to. Let's hear what that sounds like. Finally, we have some features here that we can also make use of. If we want to, for example, go back to the original input pattern, we just click this one. If we want to go back to the previous pattern, as in, let's say there is a syncopation happening, but you actually really liked the previous pattern, but you were too slow to stop the beat grid from going, we can go right back. And this goes on endlessly. Finally, we can also clear the pattern if you just want an empty slate. And lastly, here we can set the loop length so we can actually let regroove generate very different time signatures. Finally, we might want to control how hard we're smashing those drums. For that, we have this velocity dial. In the next version of regroove, we will be injecting much more expression from dynamics and microtiming just like a real drummer would. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it made it a bit more clear how you can generate drum grooves with regroove.